Hi everyone, it's Cormac here from Team Max and Storage Racing. I'm here to do a short video on how to replace the shock oil and do the shocks, um, at least for our RS5 car. Uh, obviously everybody has a different way of doing it. Um, ours has changed slightly over the years and this is from talking to people and learning off others as well as getting our own ideas. This is the way we've um, grasped how to do it. Um, most important thing when you're doing the shocks is to get a balance um, on both sides and all four shocks at least so that they all feel the same when you're doing them. So obviously first things first is you empty the old shock oil. Really important thing is don't, when you're clamping the shock, don't squeeze too hard because you don't want to damage the outer casing. So always just squeeze a bit but it should just quickly turn now after you've taken out the old shock oil initially what I, what I always tend to do is I always tend to just obviously clean out any residue from the shock oil any residue shock shock oil from the shock so you kind of just clean where the piston is you know so you kind of get as much as possible and feel free to do it again just until because if it's pretty bad shock oil it's gonna affect the new stuff that's going in so Get your shock oil and you fill it up. Fill it up pretty much to the top. Don't know if you can see it there, but fill it up pretty much to the top. And just let it stand there to get rid of all the bubbles. The most important part is you get rid of all the bubbles. If you have a bubble machine then by all means put on the bubble machine because it will make it go a little bit quicker. If not, just um, leave it and the air will go out of it. Okay so I've left the shock for a little bit as you can see hopefully there's no oil, there's no bubbles in the oil should I say. So what you want to do is you want to put up about halfway, okay, then once up halfway, get the rubber piece, okay, and put it in and you suction it like that, okay. Wipe off any excess oil. Then you get the top, which has the which has the foam piece in it. Okay. The reason why it's done like this, as we were told and as we've noticed, is that it stops the foam from getting soaked in oil. And when it, because when it gets soaked in oil, it basically becomes useless. Um, so this is where we've learned this bit then you obviously suction that okay so it sucks the rubber piece in so go like this and you might need to take some out but let's have a look here So what you're looking for is you're always looking for a little bit of bounce back. If you have too much then the shock isn't going to work properly and if you don't have any at all then you're also not going to have enough. 
and this is where it comes into the consistency between the shocks you want to make sure both are bouncing back the same pretty much the same amount so once you're happy with that you lock it up and again remember what I said about not squeezing it too tight there you go then give it one last squeeze bingo shock is complete put the spring on and away you go